You're watching Lose, Live, Learn, the show which brings you real life strategies to help you live your healthiest life, free from guilt, shame, and dieting. I'm your host, Melanie Knights. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. So I am currently sitting at the airport waiting to get my first of three flights. I'm flying to North Carolina today for a business retreat and it is 5.45, something like that, in the morning and um, I arrive in Asheville tonight at half past six Eastern time, which is half past 11 here. Anyway, so I am ready for some food. I'm ready for decent coffee get on my big flight because I'm going to be on the plane for 10 hours and I am ready to get productive as fuck and yeah so anyway, so I will check in with you when I reach Amsterdam I leave here at 6.15 probably the valley by right I arrive there not even an hour later the shortest way up so yeah that's what's happening today and I'm going to be vlogging throughout the trip Airbnb. I'm pretty sure I told you that I would check in with you in Amsterdam, which didn't happen because I was struggling to read numbers apparently and figuring out which gate I was going to and, and stuff. And then um, the flight was just very long. Um, and anyway, I'm very tired. <laughs> I've been up for 25, 24 hours, I guess. I don't even know what the time is. Quarter to eight. Plus five. Yeah. About 24 hours I've been up. But I'm like on a second wind. So I'm at the Airbnb. I've closed all the blinds, turned the lamps on. I've got my pajamas on. And I'm about to finish the rest of my Chipotle bowl, which I bought at the airport. I ate half of it there. And then I was like quite full. So I'm going to eat the rest now. And my wonderful host, Tori, um, put some beers in the fridge and I was like, you know what, I haven't had a beer in a really long time. So I'm having a beer with my um, burrito, not burrito bowl, just my bowl. Anyway, and I'm watching one of the best TV shows that has ever existed. Which is Roseanne. I was looking through the channels. And I don't understand American TV because a lot of the channels are the same. This is going to be super zoomed in on my face. Um, yeah, like loads of channels are the same. Anyway, tomorrow I am going to show, I'll do a like a little um, studio apartment tour. It's such a beautiful apartment. Like it's exactly as I imagined. The location was really bizarre because we were like, I had a taxi driver and we were on the, um, I guess the highway, I'm not sure, I have no idea, it was a big road 
and he was like, oh, we need to take this exit because he didn't know where he was going. He was like, oh, we need to take this exit. And then he was like, oh, hang on, we need to take it. And he was like going round and he was like, hang on a second. And then we were on the right street and this is the street. And um, it was like up this really steep hill. And I was like, it's so, it's exactly as I imagined. It's so beautiful. She goes like, there's just loads of books. She's got snacks, um, like all the Keurig, like all the coffee is available, half and half in the fridge, waters, beers. It's just really, really nice. So I'm going to do a full tour for you guys tomorrow. But right now, all I want to do is eat, drink my beer and go to bed. And I really hope that I'm not awake at 3 a.m. tomorrow. Anyway, and I'm going to go out and do some adventuring tomorrow. So you shall see that later. Walking up. the life out of me. So I'm just walking up the street. Walking in the street because there's no sidewalk. It's very quiet. It's very pretty. And I'm just gonna walk into downtown Asheville. It is 10 a.m. I originally planned to go out 8 a.m. So work and getting ready. I need to wash the flights off of me. Anyway, I'll catch up with you when I'm downtown. Is that a bus? No, it's a oh, food. It's at the food right now. So it's day two of the Jill Fit Business Retreat. Um, I'm gonna show you where we are. So this is where we are. And we are going to be hearing from, I think it's more Jill, but also from um, Jade, and Danny J, you saw my post yesterday. Danny is someone that um, actually shared my transformation video back in 2012 when I had lost 100 pounds. And um, like kind of, I don't know, she's like the first person that introduced me to Emmy and Emmy led me to Jill and here I am, it's kind of full circle and so I feel very grateful for that. I'm very excited to hear what's gonna happen today speak to um, speak to 
everyone again. Matt flew in last night. I haven't really vlogged as much as I planned to. Just because I wanted to be in the moment and really um like just learn from everyone. So it's very confusing yesterday because I had no idea where I was going. And you had to get a lift up to the seventh floor, the elevator up to the seventh floor, and there's another elevator, or you had to walk the stairs. I didn't see the elevator, I was walking the stairs. And it's like Just where the SUV passed and where that guy in blue is uh, going, there's a monument because so many people, you know, um, that's really just gets rave reviews and I haven't been able to go yet. But pay $15 and all the games are free to play and it's like very nostalgic. It's completely free and uh, it's surrounded by. Started at that, you know. Cause what kind of a uh, moth or butterfly does it turn into? Well, I do not know that. <laughs> yes, yes. So this one might not be a woolly bear. Yes, that would be a nice thing to ponder how many millions of years this has been forming. And <laughs> you can see the granite that's kind of at the bottom there on the right. And uh, I had a biology teacher tell me this is indeed not, not a petrified tree but sedimentary where's an ending from here and and also donating to the to the garden it is Wednesday and it's our last well, we're about to go to the airport. And I had every intention of doing a um, house tour for you at the very beginning of our trip. And I did not get around to doing it. Well, honestly, I wanted to be really present and enjoy being here. Um, and so I'm going to do it now. So this is our deck. Um, you can see it's kind of, it's really pretty. It's quite big. But we've sat out here a couple of times. Um, kind of the view, it's really nice. I'm just going to turn you around and show you. So, this is the doorway, very exciting, I know, and you come in and to your right, you have like a little desk area. I really want to do, um, use this area more than I actually have done. I, um, 
I did a lot of work from over here. I had my business calls, I had a couple of coaching calls, and I sat here and did those. I did interview for a lose live learn over there, so I did use it, but I just didn't use it as much as I was expecting to. And then, say hi vlog. Hi. We have a little kitchen area. Um, Tori provided all these snacks. And then there was a Keurig. She provided coffee, but I actually bought pumpkin spice coffee because, you know, <laughs> the luggage is heavy. Um, not gonna lie, bought half a pumpkin cake. Ate like that much over the course of a few days. Um, a window, very exciting. A little seating area. This sofa is like the comfiest sofa ever. TV, um, cable or some kind of thing. I don't know if it's cable or not. Loads of books. Um, good story that the host of this house is actually a writer. She's actually written some books. At least one book, I think. And it's um, about spirituality. Robes. We haven't used these because it's quite warm. But robes. We did use this blanket because it was very cold one evening. This goes up to the house. This is the bedroom. Excuse the beddy, meddy, messy bed. Um, and this, this is like the bedding area. So bedding area, bedroom area. So you've got like this thing, which name I can't remember. I don't know. Anyway, divider. There we go. Between the living area and bedroom area. There's a really cool mirror. Just suddenly thinking, I hope I haven't got anything hanging up behind here. No, I have not. I really like this mirror. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen these. I shared these signs. They're really cool. So there's this one. And there's one next to the bed. And then there was one over here, which is my favorite because it's pink. This one's my favorite. And then the tub or the bathroom, really nice little bathroom. Hi. And really deep tub, which I kept bashing my toe on, but yeah, really nice. So this was our first experience using Airbnb. And I was very happy, very, she was very gracious, very welcoming. Um, I'm sure it's not like this everywhere. And I guess most, like, I don't think everyone lives above the Airbnb, but she lives upstairs. So um, she was here and, you know, couldn't have been any more helpful. Wanted to help us, wanted to take us to Tajé, um, take us to the mall. She wanted to take us different places and she, you know, provided water and snacks and beer and, and everything. And yeah, so it was really good. Really glad we stayed here instead of in a hotel because I feel like it wasn't it didn't actually it worked out a little bit cheaper. It's quite expensive to stay here in Asheville. But I'm glad we stayed here because we actually got to see residential area. If we had not stayed here and walked in frequently, we would not have seen this area, we would not have seen the houses. I think also we would not have got particularly great at navigating kind of around. So yeah, really happy. Sad to go home and leave here, but really excited to go home and see Grayson and get loads of shit done, which probably isn't gonna happen until next week because, you know, the reality is. We get home, today's Wednesday, we get home tomorrow morning and I have to work tomorrow night. So that's gonna be fun. Um, but Friday, new day, next week, new week. Just, you know, getting back into the routine of things. So anyway, so thank you for joining me. Hopefully I've got enough footage to do this travel vlog. <laughs> I didn't vlog as much as I was expecting to. I really wanted to just be present. Um, but thank you. And I don't know where we're gonna be going next.